Hello and a very warm welcome to LMT Royal YouTube channel. Our Duke surprised some of the previous Wellchild Award winners on a recent Zoom call. Harry became patron of Wellchild in 2007, a charity that helps seriously ill children and their families. See the moment for yourself and hear their thoughts on why the Wellchild Awards, in association with GSK GlaxoSmithKline, are so important. Oh, wow. <laughs> Hello. Hello. I don't even recognize some of you since it's been, what, two, maybe even three years for some of you. How are you guys doing? <laughs> have you? How long have you guys been on this call now with uh, with Catherine talking about the awards? Just over half an hour. Awesome. What have you been? What have you been talking about? What are the what are the, what are the amazing ideas that you guys have you guys have cooked up? I was talking about how positive the evening was and how it was a celebration of everything we can do. And I think all of us need to focus on that. And I definitely carried that through right until now and continue to carry it through. And anything that encourages that further to keep that momentum going and encourage us all to focus on what we can do is so useful and so important, I think, definitely. Remembering how you felt and how much it meant to you, what are the what are the ideas that come to mind? I was really nervous and I felt a bit electric with excitement. And then when I heard all of the other award winners' stories, I thought, God, I shouldn't be here. Like, these are all incredible people. And I felt so lucky to share it with them and to be able to speak to so many people and just the positivity. I don't think I've ever been in a moment like it where everyone is so accepting of all of the differences and everything and so encouraging. Uh, and it was just such a wonderful time emotionally that just gave us all this big lift. Um, and it made me realize how important it is to encourage people of no matter what type thing. That was probably the biggest thing that I remember and how positive the evening was. How's lockdown been? Has it been? Um, well, it's been quite boring, but I've been there and lots of time with my family and things like that. And if you could if you could nominate anyone that you know of or that you've seen or that you've interacted with this year, anyone at all, who would you nominate? Um my mum. Is she is, is your mum there going? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Well done mum. Where's mum? Mum, can you can we see you? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> That's the by the way by the way, uh, Madison, that was the, the perfect answer. Um to choose your mom, I think, was absolutely um absolutely spot on. Did you have any good ideas that you'd um, that you passed on to Catherine and the rest of the team about taking yourself back to the to that night when you won your when you won your award? Do you still have happy memories of that night? I have very happy memories. It was one of the best nights of my life. And how are your and how are your singing lessons going? Maybe you can maybe you can sing at the next awards. Maybe I could. <laughs> <laughs> I've been working really hard on my singing, and I can just about sing a song from Mamma Mia, and I'm working on a song from I Love Me, it's called I Like. <laughs> and the, and every, the whole family gets to listen to it as well because because of lockdown, which is even more amazing. You get to do, rehearse and practice so much. I can't wait to hear you sing. Don't worry, I'm not going to ask you to sing. That's that would be putting you on the spot which i'm not going to do and who else who else we got marnie yeah hi nice to see you again how are you doing i'm doing good how are you yeah good how's lockdown been well i've had more time on my hands so like i got to do like loads of different things at home like um like i got to like um spend more time with my family and stuff and and presumably you've been doing more baking Yep. What's the biggest or the most delicious thing that you've baked recently? Uh, Oreo pops. Nice. I love that. And did you and you ate them all? I ate like at least like five. What does it take to win a uh, World Child Award, guys? Um, what 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 it takes is to just be yourself, believe in yourself. I think you've got to find the best in every situation. Every award winner I was lucky enough to meet was so optimistic and not because life is easy but because they've made an incredible life of what they've got and that optimism um yeah definitely that's that you kind of hit the nail on the head in fact all of you like your your bravery your strength 
your optimism, your everything is just so unbelievably inspiring and incredibly refreshing as well. And you're so right, Evie, like every single one of you is in a, in a, in a unique situation. One, one thing that I would say about Evie and all our award winners as well is that, you know, they are truly inspiring and like you say, brave and, and, and everything with it. But I also think that they're incredibly humble as well. Like they don't realize how fantastic they are. And, you know, I mean, even now, Evie, there's a little something that you haven't been sharing with us, is there? But you've had some fantastic news recently. I was nominated for a horse and hound amateur rider, not of the year, but of the decade award. And um, I've won it. Where do you find the energy to be able to do that? I think it's through having something that makes everything else worthwhile. So of course, I'm in hospital at the moment and we've, but when you've got something, a goal there to work towards and to keep you motivated and when you've got a passion for something, it makes all of the struggle worthwhile. And I think without that, I would really struggle. But when I've got a focus and when we've all got a focus, whether it be with modeling or singing or anything like that, when you've got a focus and a goal, it just keeps your mind straight and you're able to pull yourself along and everything is worthwhile if you can achieve your passion. And that's why the, that's why the children and the young people of World Child are literally at the, at the very heart of this charity because you guys are just so, I don't know, you just, you just, you know who you are and you, and you don't pretend to be anybody else. And because of that, you inspire every single nurse, every single caregiver, every single mum, every single dad, every single sibling, and outside of the world, world Child community as well, you're inspiring people every single day. Catherine, how, how hard has it been this year for World Child and for yourself and for other nurses and caregivers to be able to actually like, get, to, get to the homes and help the families? Gosh, it, it, it's definitely been a roller coaster of a year for sure. Um, you know, I think all of us, when we think back to March and, you know, when the pandemic really hit us and the lockdown happened and just, the panic and you know the closing down of vital services and care support and parents not being able to access PPE and you know just seeing the real impact that that was having on parents through our family tree network was just you know it was really difficult time for sure but as a charity we were really lucky that we could see quickly what parents needed to help them through this crisis and, and we put together a direct response service to help people access food deliveries, medication supplies, um, but, but most importantly to access the PPE so they could keep their carers coming into their homes to help them with their children's 24-7 care needs and um, just you know as challenging as that was to do and be a part of it was incredibly rewarding to be able to essentially step into this almost frontline role for our parents and give them that direct support that they needed day after day just to get them through this crisis in this year. Why is it so important to encourage people out there up and down the country to come forward and to vote for their most inspirational child, most inspirational young person, most inspirational um, caregiver, most inspirational doctor, most inspirational mother, father, sibling. I think the big thing is it doesn't just affect that one person who's lucky enough to win the award. It's their families that try so hard to support them and is the big support network, their healthcare that put in so many hours of treatment and surgeries and everything with that. But also that person, it gives them the confidence to continue trying to know that they can do it and to have such a positive experience like in, you know, the awards when it's such a positive filled night. It then means that they can carry that on through whatever they're doing, inspire other people, perhaps help other people and continue to lead a really wonderful life. And I think it's not just that one night actually that is the start of continuing to give them the confidence and the encouragement for the rest of their lives that they can still do it and do whatever they want absolutely spot on it's a mass it's a massive team effort and i know that every single time one of you guys receives that award that you know how many people have 
how many people are part of that and that's what I love as well. It makes them feel more confident and realise that they're not alone, that there's other people. Exactly. Does it feel isolated, isolating for you guys? Sometimes it does kind of feel isolated, like there's no one else. Yeah, and then does it, how does it make you feel when you realise there are other people, not just one, two, three, four, but thousands? Like I said, much more confident and just much but excited for that there's more people like me. And that's, a, that's again presumably why the World Child, well, that, that, the awards that night and then you staying at the hotel if you get to stay there and then the next day as well to be around that group, that community, that family, the extended family of World Child um, means so much and it brings such a smile to your face which I love. The only other thing I would say is the community that World Child creates. It's because it is really isolating and you feel so alone and I grew up thinking I was the only person in the world with an illness that's how yeah so I was properly blindsided and feeling less alone you feel so much stronger when you know other people understand and know what you're going through and are doing the same so having that community is incredible so thank you to World Child for doing that and I love having our chats with everyone and speaking to everyone it's been lovely to have a catch up and see everyone uh, and I hope everyone and their families are all okay and doing okay. Anyone else? So I think so people can be recognised by all their achievements because um, a lot of pe people like me have got a lot of achievements and stuff like that um, so I just think they should be recognised. That's so true. There's, there's, never, there's never enough time in the day days in the week to recognize every single one of you and to recognize all your achievements but if that one moment of you being able to uh, receive that world child award not even receive the award but just get nominated right is that that in itself is a huge achievement. but you guys know how many kids and how many young people your ages are struggling through through life but coming out on top every single day and are inspiring their parents which is sometimes so back to front. That's just the way that it is with you guys because you're so incredibly brave. But that, that, as I said at the beginning of the call, that means so much to so many people. And I think the more we can show that to the rest of the UK, the more of an uplift each of those families will feel because of you guys. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus even more LMT Royal videos about your favorite Royals are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell, so you don't miss a single one. Don't stop.